was invited by some Democratic Party members in this district to come and speak at the Martin Luther King observance. Yeah. There is, uh, um, and it's one that I'm fairly familiar with. A friend of mine, uh, the Reverend Bob Nakata, was the uh, Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, honoree about 10 years ago. And so I got to go to his service and uh, met some, some wonderful people. Got to go to the parade as well and, and uh, walk with Bob. And uh, it, it was a really touching, touching service uh, there at the Church of the Crossroads and also a great parade, uh, which of course the party has a, a trolley in the parade, which they did today as well. It's a bit of a tradition on Oahu. But um, this is, I think, the first time they've done it here. Maybe it's the first time in a number of years at the grandstand. So when I heard that uh, they were gathering speakers and that they needed some help, I, I jumped at the chance. You know, I don't, I don't really need an excuse. Uh, both to come here to the Big Island nor to pay tribute to Dr. King because he's a hero and uh, was a great man. And, and his words seem more relevant now than they have been in quite some time. And I know that, that we think of him all the time, not just during the time of his birth, but many of us have been thinking of him and his words and his work. You know, in particular, I've been thinking what he would think how he would feel about this most recent election. And so quotes come to mind, words come to mind, and uh, I tried to incorporate that into the, the speech I made today. I, I, my words were using his words, obviously, um, and what I tried to do is use two quotes in particular uh, that, that mean a lot to me and have for quite some time as both uh, a way to reflect and observe, but also use those words as a call to action. The first quote was, uh, we may have come here on different ships, but we're in the same boat now, which to me was Dr. King recognizing that there's a, a tremendous amount of economic injustice. And until we solve that, things like racial injustice and social injustice and environmental in injustice are gonna be much harder to solve. And uh, that seems particularly magnified right now. But unless we do realize that we live in a system with drastic income disparity and an incoming administration, for example, where the 17 people that have been nominated for cabinet positions uh, own a combined wealth that is greater than the bottom half of this country, this entire country, uh, we have to recognize and we have to wake up and realize that something is wrong. And so that's the first one, right? And that, that makes that quote a call to action, right? We're in the same boat now, yeah. right? It's time it's to do saying, something about it. Uh, the other thing uh, that I thought was important was to remind our members, uh, many of whom do not need a reminder, um, but perhaps uh, can take inspiration in Dr. King's words and remind them of, of the roots of the Democratic Party and why we're here, why I'm a Democrat in particular, and remind them that the response to radical right-wing ideology and privatization and corporatism is not watered down Reaganomics, as unfortunately it's been for far too long in our party. The response to that is the New Deal and the Great Society and actually solving income inequality and addressing the needs of the working poor. So the second quote I took uh, is more of a symbol of hope. Um, again, it's an observation, but it's also a call to action. And it's Dr. King, King's quote that goes like this, um, though the moral arc of the universe is long, it bends toward justice. And that was not, as I said uh, in, in my words, um, a, a mere musing on the part of Dr. King at the end of a single struggle. That was uh, a fighter who was reflecting on his experience and in history, on history in general, and uh, realizing that we help it bend toward justice, right? So it's an active participation. It's not just an observation. And, uh, and I think that's important to do because it is gonna be a long four years, but I think it'll go fairly quickly if we're involved and we're activated and we're turned on and, and organized. Every time they say corporatize and privatize, we should publicize and organize. And that's what we got to remember right now as Democrats. We got to find our soul and we got to get together.